Hi, <laughs> welcome back to Sharon from Vivid Days. I have just realised that I wasn't recording. Luckily, all I've done is talked about the colours I'm using, which I can go back over and start to my, mix my resin. So my resin, when I was measuring it, I was going to use 100ml, but I went over <laughs> with my resin, so I had to go over with the hardener as well. So I've got about 40 mils, probably too much, but if that's going to be way too much what I am going to do is put that onto a very small canvas board and use that towards another piece of art that I'll work on another day but I'll just have to pour it on and commit to it so the colours um, or what I have done is my board was painted yesterday you would have seen that from another video but I will put that at the beginning of this I used um, black acrylic white acrylic and I've put some glitter at it and I'll try and angle it because I'm hoping that's going to give you depths of stars from um, very very far away a galaxy far far away I wonder where that's from <laughs> anyway I hope that you'll be able to see that it's very hard to get glitter on the screens and um, the colors I'm going to be using I'll go through but there is um, five of them I've got my soapery colors which is the burlesque pink the purple heart and there is one that's called, I can't remember it off the top of my head, Blushed Pink, which is the light one. And I'm using my SFXC, which is the blue purple pigment, which I don't think it's really got that much blue purple in there. But I'm going to complement that with my red, which is Cadmium Red, and that is Carnelison. Uh, so I'm going for a feeling of connection and love um, and the gas in the universe, and they're the colours I want to work with. Sorry, that was just my timer saying that my three minutes have gone, so just give this another stir because I know I wasn't stirring it for three minutes. The bubbles will all come to the top. I'll be used with my heat gun um, to remove them. Oh, that's a blowtorch and my hair dryer. And what I'm going to do firstly is pour my clear resin on because what I want to do is make sure that I've got enough clear resin as a base and then I will come through with my colours yeah I can definitely tell I'm gonna have too much but that's all right I'll let that settle out for a little bit there while I just pour my colours what I might do is rather than put so much clear on I'll leave that as it is spread that out and just add more colour more in the coloured um, pots because then I can use that on and the spare board if there is somewhere is the clear one I won't really be able to use that on the spare board because it's just going to be nothing so I'll just go back over them the great thing with using this glass uh, jug uh, for mixing my resin and measuring it is I can keep using it and using it and using it it's fairly easy to clean out I just use a baby wipe my preference is Johnson's only because I don't seem to get any left cotton pieces or fragments uh, this is going to stick into the resin next time and I use an alcohol wipe um, once I've got the thickness out and I leave it just on its side like so uh, to help it drain out and then that makes it easier for me when I'm cleaning out so I'm just going to leave those in here and I'm just going to use my stick to drag my resin to the end. I am going to want this one to go over the edge slightly because this one canvas does have edges. Mm, you hear the birds fighting and pooping on top of my studio. It's very nice of them. I hear that that's lucky. I didn't want to use too much clear resin on this canvas because I didn't want sagging in the middle. Which I might scoop some up because I think I might have These pieces of paper you see me using on here, um, they came from when um, a family member was moving homes and we ended up with two massive box fulls of this which I've chosen to continue to use in recycling my art rather than just going in the bin or anything like that. Give them a second life and do my little thing for the environment.
Okay, so before I mix my colours, I am just going to pop all of these air bubbles. Now you might not be able to see, but it might look quite cloudy to start with. And then as I pop them, you should see it go a more brighter. With my blue purple pigment from SFXC. Just judging how much I think I'll need. So I'm going to start with that. less pink not about that much Ooh. you don't just want to do what I did there and put it all over your painting use my purple heart And then I've not used this one before, so I'm interested to see what that's actually going to look like. Is it going to be really light or like an equivalent of a white? Ooh, I'm going to put slightly more, well now I'm going to take some of that off. I was going to say I'm going to take slightly some off. Yeah, just took some off, I'm going to go with that amount. Alright, let's do this. Wish us luck. Okay, let's see if this is going to do anything or if I've gone too bold with the colours. Settle and see how I feel about that. I think I went too hard with the red and blue, so I'm just pulling that back, seeing how I feel if I just strip that back. No idea what I'm doing with this one at the back. <laughs> Just going for it. Alright, let's give it another go with this hairdryer. Mudded. I don't know. I don't know if I like it. Took it to the wrong level.
Yeah, I think I will have to come and do like another layer of this. This is just not good. There's no other way of saying it. Time to tidy up a little bit and then bring it in and show you. Ah. <laughs> Step away from the resin. All right, I'll bring tidy up and bring it in for a view. Okay, just back, still super wet. Just finished working on it, but I've just tidied away <laughs> all the gunk. So I'm waiting to see whether I'm 100% happy with this. Is it settling and parting and you're getting the, oh, got stickiness, um, transparency uh, where you can see the stars. I'm loving it more. It's that subtle gas-like feel and there is a sense of movement. Just want to see whether when it dries, if it's all gone, I've gone in the middle with it being the canvas or if it's done and there's no more needed to it. You just need to sit, digest and keep coming back and looking at it. I'm so sorry about the reflection um, coming to the resin. I'll try and go at a different angle. There you go. So you can see some of the texture and I'm curious to know when it dries what that glitter is going to look like if you can still see or if it's all been washed off. Oh, terrible from that angle. We'll go with there. So, not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but it's settling quite nice. And it's definitely the colours that I wanted. I just probably wanted it more subtle in the middle, but it's ended up going everywhere. But you can't win everything, can you? And this is the tiny little piece that I just dumped all the colours onto not too sure about it i've added just a little bit of glitter of the colors that's in there it's quite it's quite pretty but again just need it to settle and see what it dries like so yeah so first time in the studio this morning i feel was a little bit more successful than the second time the second time felt more like a battle maybe that's the passion of love who knows but yeah if you like what you see thumbs up subscribe comments always welcome and love your opinion on this whether you think i need to come in and do a second coat hi welcome back to sharon from vivid days so this is the one i worked on yesterday and i do feel like i need to add i don't know if you can see it, a second coat to this piece um, it's got quite diluted and although I like some of the stuff that's happening I just feel like I want to bring it together with more of an explosion in the middle with the colours that's going to be a little bit brighter on that one so not too sure with the glare if you're going to be able to see it but overall it's still a nice piece it can still be rescued it's got some very subtle colours there but I just want a little bit more pop um, in the middle here so that's what we're going to do so I'm going to show you what I do if I'm going to be working on it so it's tacky it is level or there's a few bubbles here so I'm just going to lightly sand over it if you've not done this before and the reason I am doing that is resin loves something to grip onto so you only need a light sand but that will help the success of it gripping on so you just slightly go through make some grooves I'm going to wipe all over it with a baby wipe to make sure there is no residual dust that's going to get into the fresh resin that I'm about to pour so I will see you when I've mixed this up and got my colors ready because I don't want you to have to watch through that because this is just a continuation of yesterday hope you have an amazing day so far
So you'll see that I have added some to this because I really love this flower, but I just want to give it some more depth with colour. And I've got a little bit of resin spare. So I thought, well, might as well take this to the next level. Scrape it out every bit and then turn that on its side so it's easy to clean out. So I'm just going to shift my clear resin everywhere, get the bubbles out, clean off my stick and then start to mix the colour. This is what you do when you do your second coat, you do have to make sure the resin goes everywhere. You have to almost show it where it needs to go. These are the same colours, it's just this one's at the end of its colour. So I'm going to be using the Wings Run ink. It's called purple, but I call this a raspberry. I believe there should be enough left in this jar, but I've got a... Oh, can't get it open. So these things come in handy if you ever get stuck with anything sealing itself too greatly. She says not doing a good job of it. Oh, there we go. So that ink, that one's going to go in the bin. Let's see if that has is strong enough. Yeah, plenty strong enough for what I want to do. See what I mean? It's like a beautiful raspberry colour. Give it a share. So this is a magic colour purple. Try two drops, see what that's going to do. Yeah, two drops was plenty. The great thing about inks is they mix so beautifully. And let me pop my mask on. always do that when you're using your pigments you should really use one when you're mixing resin because even though it says non-toxin it is and that one is the blue purple so it's about that much Enough. Make sure it's all mixed in properly. Which will leave me with my burlesque pink, which is from the Sopra. I've cleared them out of the way for a couple of reasons. One, it's better for you when you're viewing, so it's not too messy. Ooh. Two, Mixing with resin is a mess. Sticky mess, sticky fun mess. It's about that much. And you don't want to get too much stickiness up over all your products. And it also helps me when I'm coming to write what I've used at the end because they're in a certain section for me to then add them. All right. So, again, even though I've only put little bits of acrylic and uh, acrylic oh my gosh <laughs> resin in here it's amazing how far it goes don't even know if it's going to work this way i'm just experimenting but i thought i'd have you guys along with me I don't know if that added any value.
seem, seem to do this <laughs> quite quickly. But it's okay because you know why? I am going to be able to use this on my flower. Okay, I am going to bring you in for a close-up. I really, really love what has happened here. So I believe this definitely has added um, value. So just looking at that there. And I'm going to add a tiny little bit of glitter in the middle there, so that's going to be interesting. Uh, but yeah, I'm really happy. I'm just seeing a few little, I'm going to go over it with the gun one more time and I'm just going to try and bring it out bits but I've definitely got a lot thicker colour which is where I wanted I wanted those pinks and purples and blues romantic so yeah I'm just going to tie this away come and bring you for a close up well, there, I'm going to bring a tiny little bit of gill earring just to the centrepiece here a tiny little bit over the top of this one <laughs> don't know if the light in here is going to be kind to us but yes I love this one far far more than I did before it's got vibrancy it's still got um, transparency lots of movements but I can just imagine those gas particles floating away in space in some of those magical colors and here we are with my flower that I've just worked on, I might just get my stick and drag through just a little bit here. In fact, I'll do it while you're on so you can see how I do this. Just bear with me while I stretch. The only reason being I can see there's a lot of weight there. So I'm just going to drag them out just a tiny little bit. that's just giving that some depth and a little bit of glitz <laughs> and I'm gonna rewash those cups and not a lot of wastage uh, jobs are good then Probably you can see different depths and colors in there same with this one hope you can see that vibrancy and that movement and the majestic universe cool cool if you like my work remember thumbs up subscribe and comments are so appreciated i do like to interact with you all answer any questions or share um art just anything just keep the communication going and if there's anything you want to see more of let me know